Good Monday evening, everyone. Thanks for being here with us. I'm Bray Blanks. Glad you're here. I'm Wayne McCormick. Friends and family are preparing to say their final goodbye to a two-year-old boy who was accidentally run over and killed by his father in front of their Merkel home. It's a heartbreaking situation. A rosary will be held tomorrow night for Yair, uh, Yair Rodriguez at the Starbucks funeral home in Merkel, and then the little boy's body will be taken to Mexico for burial. K-Texas reporter Cassandra Garcia was in Merkel and talked to neighbors still overcome with emotion over such a tra tragic situation. Cassandra? Well, Braid neighbors say little Yair Rodriguez was just like any other rambunctious toddler. They say they're grieving now because the accident that happened Saturday could have easily happened to anyone. As children play in this quiet Merkel neighborhood, a horrible weekend accident still lingers in the minds of parents. It hurts the whole community. I couldn't even work this morning. I just, I mean, I had to leave work. You thought it was the best family in the world, and they was. It's here on the 300 block of El Paso where Merkel police say a father in his mid-20s left for work Saturday morning around 9.30. The dad didn't notice his two-year-old son, Yaid, had followed him outside. When the father backed out of his driveway, he struck the boy, leaving him in serious condition. Yaid was transported by ambulance to Hendrick Medical Center and later died from his injuries. It upsets me because I have grandkids. And I can't even imagine how I would feel if I had, if I had accidentally backed over one of my granddaughters. I had to break down a little bit. I won't lie to you because he was the best daddy I've ever seen in my life. Neighbors say Yaid was the youngest of the family's two children. Nearly two days later, they are still having a tough time coping with the news. If he was working on the cars or whatever, the little boy was always with him. I'm always by his leg. We are praying for him. We're, we're hoping the best for him because he was the sweetest family we ever met. Now, police are calling the boy's death an accident. An autopsy has been completed today, which is standard procedure, and also blood samples were taken from the father at the time of the accident. All right. Thanks, Cassandra. Such a time for everybody over there. Accidents like this are sadly more common than you might think. Here are some facts about that. According to kidsincars.org, at least 50 children are backed over each week in the U.S. Two of those will die from their injuries. 60% of these accidents involve larger trucks and SUVs.